today we are um, about to gather in St Paul's Cathedral for the uh, commemoration uh, of the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Uh, you don't need to be uh, a scholar of history to know that by uh, the middle of 1940 Great Britain stood alone. Uh, most of Europe had fallen to the enemy and the, uh, the enemy's uh, plan was to smash the Royal Air Force as a prelude to invasion of our island. Uh, it was our nation's darkest hour, but we were not alone. We had pilots from 15 other countries came to England to help us fight. And most notable in those other countries was Poland. And a large number of Polish pilots uh, arrived here, uh, fleeing from uh, their home country, uh, to help inflict some uh, damage back on the enemy which had wrought so much chaos in their homeland. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if many of the pilots didn't feel as though they were alone in the tiny cockpit of a Spitfire or a Hurricane facing overwhelming uh, bombers and fighters. But they fought very bravely and they went on and they won. And they won the freedom for us to enjoy the future that we do now. But of course it wasn't just the pilots, it was all the ground crew, uh, the sector operators, the filterers uh, and a great many other, and indeed the civilian population who, whilst the enemy was bombing the Royal Air Force airfields, he was also bombing some of our cities. And so uh, a very steadfast uh, civilian population refused to be cowed, even though there were many deaths amongst their numbers. And we did go on to win the Battle of Britain, which turned the tide of the Second World War, and we which we then went on to win uh, five years later. So today is a very significant day of thanking those that gave us the future we are enjoying today.